Hello everybody, and welcome to a special TTV event, by which I really mean our yearly coverage of the Nuremberg Toy Fair. Oh, wait, you mean this isn't Chronicler's Convergence? Nope, that's coming oh, soon well, Uh, talk to you guys next week. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, you gotta bail out before we start. No, you're staying here. <laughs> but this is... This is the beginning of the yearly Toy Fair craze because although London Toy Fair did happen last week and we did talk about it on TTV, there were no pictures allowed at the event. And technically there's no pictures allowed at the Nuremberg Toy Fair either, but some always managed to slip through the cracks. And this year we got a bit more than some. We got a torrential flood of pictures which <laughs> suddenly appeared on Flickr out of nowhere while we, I was looking for... A way to watch the Ninjago episode that premiered today, and that this has kind of pushed Ninjago out of my mind for the moment. Sniff. But we will also be doing a coverage on that. Don't worry, it'll probably just be released tomorrow, which is the thirtieth. So yeah, out of these pictures we have here, the three themes which will interest people the most, plus a bonus, is Chima, Hero Factory, and Ninjago. And then two Ultra Agents pictures, just because we can. More and all, all the slam stuff that no one cares about. Yeah, but yeah, VAR. Yeah. Surprisingly, a lot of people care about yeah, this. I know. No, no one cares about them. Okay, okay, fine. I will, give, I will give you that. No one problem. cares. People will care for Chima, surprisingly enough. And I, yeah, you know, they will. Yep. You are incorrect. Even though Chima's I... putting out a pretty strong showing this year. But we'll get I to care. Speaking of Chima, we'll open with it. This Ew. year's theme is fire and ice. And what better way to kick things off with what probably the majority of us care most about, the construction figures. Now, the initial wave of Chi, quote-unquote, ultra-build figures... Contained six characters, and it was Laval, Ares, Juarez, Krager, Razar, and Gorzan. This wave has seven. And of note is that two of them are $20 Titan sets. Whereas the other five are the usual $15 standard fare. And from left to right, in this picture, we have Chi Fluminox, the phoenix... <laughs> <laughs> Chi Cragger, Chi Bungus, <laughs> Chi Sir Fangar, Chi Bungus, Chi Mungus. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Chi Mungus. Since Bionicle Bar. Chi Vardy, Chi Laval. Hey, Chi Vardy, what's up, bro? <laughs> yeah, Chi Laval and Chi Panthar. So, yeah. I like how they tried to be creative with Laval's name, but then they just, like, degraded even more, which is like, Panther! <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so, the two Titans, quote-unquote, sets here are Fluminox and Sir Fangar, which, looking at their designs, I can kind of see why they're not Titan in stature, per se, but rather in the piece counts. They both have weird things going on that we'll get to, so let's open with... Chief Fluminox, the Phoenix. Where to even begin here? Well, normally if Kahi were here, I'd open up with a legend uh, Avatar Last Airbender joke, but yep. he's not. As a set, I think this looks pretty good, especially compared to some of the other ones, which have weird conflicting color schemes and <laughs> general oddities in their build. I think this one looks pretty cohesive, and I like those new wing pieces. Those are very nice. I don't even necessarily mind that the wings don't look to be, you know, able to articulate, because I thought that was kind of obnoxious in the other Chi figures, with how you would have to get it in the perfect pose if you wanted it to be symmetrical. That it looks probably just as good and less irritating. It's a win for me. It has this crazy-looking crossbow which is gargantuan and looks to actually function. You know, I thought 2013 was the year of the crossbow. Don't tell me they're trying to bring it back. It looks 
like that they are. And it looks like it can actually fire something that looks like a Xamor sphere. Now, when I first saw the picture, the phoenix and the saber-toothed tiger, in their staffs, crossbow, whatever they are, they have a Xamor sphere. And I swore for a second it looked like it was the Xamor launcher from 2006 that was holding them. But it's very evident on Fluminox that that is not the case. It is some technic uh -huh. contraption, but it can fire just like the spheres of old, except you push on a yellow thing to make it launch. Uh -huh. We'll send out a copyright claim immediately. Yep. But... You know, honestly, that just looks like a modified version of the Xamar Sphere Launcher. You may be right, but I don't see how the framework could be used to do what they're doing. Because the sphere that's holding it, the stuff that's holding the sphere in place is usual Technic standard fare. I don't know. Looks kind of like a modified Xamar Sphere launcher. That would but... be fantastic if that was the case. For the chest plates? No, nah, for the, no, the, the, the crossbow. crossbow. Oh. It has something that looks kind of like that built into it to launch stuff. Oh. That looks like a Xamar launcher to me. Get hype if that is the case, because the Xamar launcher, it's, it's been... Its efficiency has been outclassed by the newer stuff, but it was still a neat piece that you could do a lot of stuff with, so they're bringing it back. In fact, yeah, yeah you can actually see it's it's on the other guide, too. You, we'll get to that, though, but yeah. uh, they've definitely brought it back in a modification. Yeah, that's definitely the Xamar launcher. Well, that is just fantastic. Hooray. And that's probably one of the more interesting things about this. The second is obviously the chest plates. Now, this is a big new addition, Yeah. and I'm a fan of these. Basically, it may be two pieces. It's probably just going to be one piece that has a function to where there's a button on the front that you press, and the chi launches out of their chest plates. And then, you obviously, you can plug it in. Yeah, can... yeah it looks like those are also Xamar spheres, so yeah. the combinations are varied. They've got the usual orange thing, although it may have it, the usual orange Zemmor Sphere, although it probably has a unique meld, and then the other one, the ice, looks to be a mix of white and blue melded cool stuff. So that, I'm a fan of that for a couple reasons. One, it's a neat function. Two, it's an homage to the show. So, hey. Yeah. Win-win. Looks like a rubber bouncy ball you'd get from one of those stupid <laughs> machines. <laughs> You're right. Mars. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> wow. Preliminary. Yeah. Hopefully. I don't know. It, it looks cool to me. Yeah. And a couple other interesting things about the set part-wise. It's got obviously the wings, those new silver pieces on the crossbow. The head, which looks to have neon orange for... Not neon orange. Neon yellow for no reason at all. New shoulder pads and lower leg armor that is used across all the other sets and transparent red lower arms and what may very well end up being transparent red glator not glatorian hands hf hands although it may just end up being normal red but i do not think so considering there's trans blue hands as well i feel that i, I have a feeling and i wish you were here for this uh, I know who's going to be very happy. Oh. A particular fellow by the name of Jang Bricks. Oh, yeah, he's going to go nuts over these things. Yep. he He's going to be like a, a Lego fan in a candy store. Wait. No, never mind. Anyway. A Lego fan in a candy store. <laughs> wow, just, wow, I think you botched that just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so, Var Viper, do you think this set looks cool or not? I think it looks better. It looks better. Um, better than what? The previous ones. Okay. <laughs> Specific. Um, it... I, I wouldn't say it's cool. Aw. It's interesting. <laughs> it's not terrible. It doesn't really yeah. doesn't have appeal to my taste as far as cool goes. The wings are a little too... 
Skeletal for me. I think the best one is the Phoenix. The color scheme's a little odd. <clears throat> Aren't we talking about the Phoenix? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, color scheme is a little odd. I don't really like the fire theme. The ice theme looks way much better. But um, yeah, I don't know. Phoenix is the weird. only one don't... here that I think pulled off the fire theme to any degree of efficiency. Yeah, I definitely agree. That doesn't mean I like it. Yeah. All right. I think the weapon looks a little too convoluted for it my taste, too. It does look pretty convoluted, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, well, the so next... So I don't know how I feel about it. The next one... Um, what's his name? Steven Villman. Shall go nuts over this. Or hate it with a passion, but probably he'll enjoy it. Chi Cragger is back with the same headpiece. And gold... <laughs> Yay. Uh, he has gold, Yay, gold and trans red to mess up the color scheme and be a part of the fire theme. It, Can't forget the green plates, yeah, too. Are, are those green? They look kind of gut yeah, metal, the, but it would make sense. The, those green. are green. Okay. L look at it compared to the head. Yeah, you're right. Okay, well, that's another recolor then, so that's cool. But I can't imagine that color scheme is going to look... Well, I don't know. Gold, red, and green. That could be okay. But as long as it sticks for those three colors, it might be okay. But it might then still. Then I have the silver weird, weapon so. and the white teeth and the yeah. olive green lower jaw. But. I, well, I can forgive the weapon for being gray yeah, and the teeth because right. those kind of have to be different colors. But yeah. He still has the trans red bones and the hands, and he still has the tail, and all in all, it looks decently similar to the Cragger set of the last year, except more armored and gold. Not really much interesting here. Does this mean he's a hero now? Oh, yeah. This, this is okay. a, It's spoilers for the TV show. I don't think anybody cares. Yeah, by the end of the first season, everything is resolved, and Cragger is on the side of good. I see. They I must see. unite against a common threat. I should probably follow Chima more, but alas, nobody, it doesn't interest me very well. You can be bothered well. to follow it, really. Yeah. Me and LJ are the only people that suffer through it fully to review. Kai is half and half. He sometimes does, and sometimes he just blows it off. But overall, I think that it's an okay-looking set. It doesn't look bad by any means, but it also looks... I'm not going to say boring, but probably one of the more bland ones here, next to Laval and the Panther. Um... Yeah, they didn't really go out of their way to make him very interesting. He is incredibly bland. Even his weapon is just a standard <laughs> axe. It looks so, it looks so mediocre. The weapon. Yeah, it's like they, they really... Uh, uh, I don't know. They, they didn't put in all their effort for this one, definitely. Viper, what do you think of Cragger? Do you think he looks cool or not? Oh. Um, yeah. It looks all right. Okay. Thank you for your input. <laughs> well, the next one... <laughs> this next one's weird. What on earth is going this, on with this one? This next one may be one of the weirdest figures that I've seen. And I cannot even begin to point out all the stuff going on here, but I've got to at least try. This is an ice-themed set. So the color scheme is by and large trans blue, black, and white. But there's also brown thrown in. And the return of brown, he's got which this hilariously sense. bootleg trunk, which is comprised of two... Oh yeah, this is Chimungus, the mammoth. And two pieces for the trunk, both recolors in brown, so that's good. Head looks okay. Everything else is strange. He's got arms, okay, yeah, arms. White pieces only in the arms, nowhere else on the set. The upper arms have white armor. Then there's the black. He's got an interesting looking torso construction, as do some of the other sets that allows him to have size 4 armor on his the front, on, yeah, front, front facing on his shoulders. Trans blue hands. And ah, glaringly asymmetrical legs. At, it looks like he's lost his leg in the war. <laughs> yeah, a peg, pe peg leg, ice leg, ice peg oh, gosh. leg. 
Um, asymmetricality for asymmetricality's sake, although I guess I shouldn't turn down recolors because that is a new color for the foot. But I well, I don't know if it's just for asymmetricality's sake. It might have something to do with the story because I'm assuming if he's a mammoth, he's going to be a very old, hardened individual, so having him missing a leg might make sense. You know, that probably is what they're going to go with. That makes sense. Because some of the other, some of the minifigures that we'll get to later have that same thing going on. They've got like one leg as ice, so it either means they're partially frozen or it means they're just old and falling apart. Yeah, I mean the snow, the snow people are supposed to be the villains, right? Yeah. So they might be being taken over by the ice or something. Yes, sentient ice. <laughs> I don't know. You never know. I'm like the Reapers, <laughs> except people ice. Would totally do that. They like to jump the shark a lot. Um, I think it's very odd. I'm not going to condemn it until we see a better angle of it because the pose it's in and the angle of photography don't really do it justice, but it doesn't look all that good to me. The angle makes the face look really bad. So <laughs> I'll, I'm not, the trunk looks atrocious, though. I don't know, I, I don't know if a different angle is going to save that trunk. The thing that boggles my mind most about this set, though, it's like... It's like they put the wrong head <laughs> on the snow leopard thing and then the mammoth bodies. It's like the mammoth body so belongs to be on the bigger torso right there. I don't know why it's on that little spindly torso. It's a it's a mammoth. You're right. So it, it's like yeah, it's like they just mixed up the bodies, but there's definitely brown on the leg on his uh, left leg, so Oh yeah, you're right. I guess that's a good thing, then. That'll help save the color scheme. Brown is making a resurgence this year. Full force. There's a ton Hooray for Brown. So after being cast aside in Bionicle for many years and replaced with yellow and cute orange. With a non-consistent color scheme. <laughs> yeah. It's back. Hooray. So that's, that's that set. All J is mysteriously BRB, hence why he's not giving any commentary. But when he gets back, we'll have him go over what he missed. Speaking of LJ coming back. Oh, hey, yes. LJ. So, what do you think of Chi Cragger and Chi Mungus? We just got the first okay. like a bunch of stuff about them. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Cragger is possibly my second least favorite out of. Mm, no. I'll rank them later, but he's yeah. definitely not one of my favorites just because of the color scheme. Now, I appreciate what Lego did here. I'm very glad that they added more dark green Metro, you know, Metro green armor pieces. I'm very excited for that. However, I'm not especially glad that they kept the green in with these melded golds and bright oranges. But LJ, and it's a three so color, color, so color scheme, green, gold, and red. It could work. The green and gold could, yes. Not with the red. But I'll just fire. It's not even red. It's it's trans orange. It's transparent orange. And then there's black. And I don't know. The color scheme could work if they took out the bright transparent orange. Uh, something else I noticed, they added him. They gave him blue eyes. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. Got to symbolize yeah, his good I, status. Yep, there you go, Stephen Vilman. He's good. But, no, I'm looking forward to the Metro Green parts because I can use those. Uh, the weapon is just an axe, which it is looks great because I recently generic, made a mocking axe. But, yeah. It is generic, <laughs> but I don't mind. I mean, it, it's a good-looking axe. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are useful parts. It's creative. I mean, they're using the parts that they've made to make things simpler. That's yeah. fine. And I'm excited for the new armor parts. And, you know, all in all, it's a solid-looking set if you don't consider its color scheme a part of its look. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really... I, I, don't, I really don't have much issue with the color scheme. I think it's a bold risk, but I'm going to wait to see it in person. I just think the set is bland. There's not really much wrong with it design-wise, but there's not much interesting about it either. Right alongside the ball and the panther. <laughs> I think next to Laval, it's kind of the. This is your standard. This, yeah, this that's is your the standard. Care. Now you want more of him. Yeah, this is the average. Now the below average, and this has to be, this ties with Zavardi as my least favorite set here. No. No, this is my least favorite. Oh. Uh, 
the what's his name? Fungus. The mammoth. Yeah, fungus. <laughs> he is weird looking. I mean, fungus. again, liking the recolored parts. These are cool looking recolored parts. I love the transparent brown parts. Useful, great. The color scheme is consistent. That's fantastic. He looks like an Ella, a woolly mammoth. He's you know he's got the tusk thing. Re more recolored brown. Don't like how it's constructed. It I see what they were going for. Unnecessary white. Or is that silver? It's white. No, it's... Mm, okay, that's white. And then I know what they were going for. I just don't like it. Because the, the leg is spindly and transparent. And I see what they're going for. I, I don't know. It just looks very... I wouldn't say ugly. I think the upper body, they had something going. And then... The lower half, while it probably has relevance to the story because the blue legs is a common theme across all the villains and all the minifigure villains, as we'll get to later. I I don't think it looks good from a design standpoint. No, I I don't think that they... I I see what they were going for. I don't think it was pulled off very well. I wish it it probably would have been better with a bit more brown on it. Yeah. But I appreciate what they were trying to do. It I do not feel it came out very well. Well, I think the next set came out pretty well. Chi Sir Fang R, the twenty dollar villain favorite. of the wave. This dude is supposed to be a saber tooth well. tiger, but oh, that's what he is. I can't even. I don't know. I I'm completely blinded by something that has captured my interest and makes all other aspects of the set seem blah to me and that is that cape i want that, that cape I, I will pay twenty dollars for that cape i don't want anything else i'll just take the cape <laughs> you'll pay twenty dollars it is for worth cape. it that cape is legit I that's my new cape might have to disagree with you there mess so i don't know about that it's a piece cape. of cloth you can probably make a better cape on oh, your own with a piece of cloth and scissors. The is there too much <laughs> no, no. You can get some scissors. Want, you don't need that. Cape. You don't need that cape. <laughs> I don't. It's honestly, it looks like I'm gonna have to get this set to get that cape and put it on the mess Yeah. It's a pretty good cool. set. It has a very similar construction to um, Mungus's torso from the looks of things, just a bit done a bit better. Because the weapon reminds me of something we've seen before, like on Fire Lord or something. Fire Lord? Um, it seems really it, familiar. It does seem very it familiar. It looks more extra Fire Lord. Yeah, maybe not I Fire think, Lord. Maybe I think more, more Pyrox. Pyrox, maybe. Kind of oh, looks yeah. similar to Witch Dog. Oh. Yeah, Pyrox has a staff similarly like that. Evo Brain Attack has a staff very similar, almost identical to the one he has, just the different pieces used for the actual... Oh, yeah, you're right about Pyrox. That's definitely... Just, he has a Zamor launcher stuck in the middle that can fire. Yeah, that's the only big difference about it. And, you know, he's got a cool-looking torso. They've somehow rigged it to where they can hook those size 4 armor pieces, you know... In places where they normally yeah. couldn't be, and I, was... I like how he actually has a very consistent color scheme and a actual uh, like a a good build, like a sturdy build. It yeah, looks like. and the wings, you know, if those are supposed uh, to be wings, I don't really know what that is. I think they're just like ornamental extensions. They're just kind of there for show. Yeah, good. With anything, they don't look like wings. Um, they look cool. Recolored feet. Those white um, beast feet from HF. There, you're gonna be seeing a lot of those as we go on. Frost beast hand, literally identical. More trans blue. Solid overall. I don't care about any of it. I just want the cape. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, it's a very good set. The cape definitely does give it a complete fill. Yeah. Without it, it probably wouldn't look nearly as good. Right. Viper, what do you think of the set? Viper. So, Please. next set. <laughs> Viper. What do you... Yeah. What do you think of the set? Um, the saber tooth one, I really like. Uh, the cape. 
cape is amazing. Yep. <laughs> reminds me of Vizzle. <laughs> yep. Vizzle, of course. Reminds uh, me of Phil Rocket. Oh, yeah. He, he looks uh, beasty. Awesome set. Beasty. Okay. Thank you for your top notch expert level. <laughs> now, let us move on on to okay. the next one Vardy the Vulture. This set is weird and it's a very mixed bag, but I think I can chalk a lot of it up to bad posing. Yeah, I think this set got kind of screwed over with the posing. It looks like it'd be much better if it was actually like posed properly. It's got skeletal wings like the phoenix had, but they're uh, not done as well, I don't think. But it looks like they're able to articulate, whereas the phoenixes were locked in place. Or, you know, articulate to some degree, at least the top ones. And they decided to just have them flop around instead of posing them right. Yeah. And the neck held don't straight know. up. Um, it does look vulture-like to a degree, but... Yeah, a long neck helps it. There's not really much interesting here to me except for the tan, or hopefully that is tan, armor that he has. That is the big draw for me with this set. Nothing, you know. But it, whether it looks good or bad, that's very subjective. I think it looks okay, but there's nothing really interesting. And there's, of course, that weapon. The golf club of epicness. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder what that actually is. Good question. Oh, wait a second. Oh, man. Look really closely. It's a saw. Whoa. Is it? Look at the tip. You're right. I couldn't see the head piece. You barely... Holy beans. Look at that. Trans well, your saw. mic is... And yeah, that was loud. Talking too close to your mic, you. <laughs> Sorry, it, it's it's difficult to gauge with this thing. Like I gotta stand like back here. Yes. Yeah. Look that, at that. Saw that saw blended into the saw. background so well, but suddenly that weapon is much better. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Now I see. <laughs> when you see it, you can't unsee it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Isn't that great? <laughs> a very neat, nice recolor, and that does look like quite the cool weapon. So yeah, in case the viewers have no clue what we're talking about, it's like a literal buzzsaw at the end of the weapon. Yeah, it blended into the background for me. It's like a circular, yeah. I, I didn't see it at all. I had to look really hard to find that. That's yet another yeah, recolor. It's like, they are piling them on this wave. No kidding. I'm really looking forward to all these recolors because I like, I need to get back into mocking. I need to get better at it. Yeah. And he has a Please new. Help me. I I was gonna say it's recolored, but it looks to be a different mold. But I could be wrong. His those um, white and blue wings look to be different than the phoenix wings. Or maybe they are a rec. Uh, I don't know. No, nah, no, nah, it's just a recolor. Yeah, though those look exactly the same. Yeah. Okay. However, it looks like the phoenix ones are more transparent. Yeah, that, it doesn't definitely looks like that. I like the Phoenix ones more, but I like they those work. pieces because you know obviously I, I like them because they don't use the ball joint system of HF. They're they connect in an old way, so there's a bit more stuff you can do with them. I'm a little bit eh. Oh no, a little. Bit. I gotta say I'm preferring the muted colors so much more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, honestly. My quick thoughts to recap, Vardy. Eh. I mean, I like that, that weapon now, like, infinitely more than I did now that I see that saw. But all in all, this guy's probably going to have to be my second least favorite. Because just for the sole fact, those wings are so spindly and ugly looking. Uh, yeah. I, still, I, I don't know. I feel like those wings look so much better if they were posed properly. I guess maybe it's the posing. Maybe if they were posed properly, maybe I'd like them more. Right now, I don't like them, but he looks very, very Ultra weirdly. Like... I guess the pose is really throwing that off for me. Yeah, I think I think the pose just isn't doing it a lot of justice. I feel like it would look much better if it was posed properly. If it's posed properly and it looks good that way, then honestly, I still have to say he's my second least favorite because he's the second least 
interesting. I wouldn't go He's that far. He's got nothing else going for him. I'm gonna save. Well, uh, I just did. I, I, it's yeah, the, I don't know. I think he's a little more interesting. Pretty soon, but um. Oh, yeah. Never mind. In that case, he's my the, third. The least final favorite. two that I have to talk about today, that we have to talk about today, are my personal picks for two least favorites here. And the lesser of the two is coming up right now. Chi Laval. He looks. Eh, decently close to his first iteration. They've changed things up a little bit with armor placement here and there. Gave him those feet, which I think work much better. The legs, he has yeah. good-looking legs instead of the ugly atrocities that he had initially. Um, <laughs> kept his sword on the wrist thing that I liked, and he has a new sword mold. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just, uh, no, I think it is new to a degree because of how far down it goes, but because of the camera angle, yeah. we can't really see. I I think, Mesa, what that is, it's just a combination of the oh, new yeah, blade right. mold. It's a combination of the new blade mold and then the Pyrox fire thing stuck okay. on the tip. Yeah. Well, that looks like it'll be interesting. So, it, I've been trying to figure it out this entire time. I, it just clicked. It's not a bad set, and it does have a more coherent color scheme than say Cragger, but something about it just doesn't sit right with me i don't know it's what it boring. is That's i don't know it. if it's the bright head that looks weird and strange or if it's, it's too bright or, or for if me. it's the shoulders that look really bare compared to everybody else or if it's the fact that he has something about the legs while they look good it's just throwing me off and yeah, he looks very bright. It, it, it's his color scheme just doesn't work with me. I don't know. It's it's too bright for my taste. It's not muted at all. It's kind of yeah, initial of all thrown was, at you. Initial of all was dark trans blue, gold, and gunmetal. This is gold and trans <laughs> red. But over, I mean, like his build seems. I mean, it seems a little standard. For like a Lego almost identical to the stuff. build of the initial. Yeah, seems really standard, but I mean, it looks pretty, uh, pretty solid. I don't know. Yeah, it's not. It's cool. not bad. The shield, sword. But I consider it the least interesting out of all we've looked to at this point because at least the one. He's just not new. Look, yeah, it does not look new at all. And now, well, first of all, Viper, are you still there? Last I checked, she was BRB. Yeah, we'll just go on and get her thoughts as a whole. My my personal least favorite set here, and one that you can't really see all that well because of bad camera angle, so maybe I'm just judging it too harshly, is Chi Panthar. <laughs> now, I guess I'll start by saying I don't know what the heck is going on with his right hand. But it looks to be a hand like Raka XL had with those fingers that extend off that paw piece. And having owned who the heck posed this? Having thing? owned Raka XL, I can tell <laughs> yeah. you that hand design does not work, and it is. I, not I feel good. like something tells me if I, I could get a really good job at all these conventions, they just have me pose everything. And people would like these sets so much better. Yeah. I don't really know what like, people are thinking. Yeah. This. Granted, most of them are posed okay, except for the vulture and this dude. But the reason... Like, okay. It looks like he has trans red on one arm, and then no trans red on the other arm. And trans blue is on the other arm. Yeah, trans blue for some reason, unless that's just a glare that and blue? black. I don't, I don't know. If that's trans blue. It's probably... Yeah, that's starting to look more like a sticker to me. Yeah, it looks like a sticker to me either, too. Either way, you cut the cake. It's still bad, unless it's just it's still blue. Glare <laughs> on the armor, but yes, it, if it's blue on this set, that completely throws off the color balancing they've had up till this point. It. Wow, just wow, as if they're posing could get any worse. I just noticed the hand on his right hand is inverted and it's facing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, who the heck posed this? 
the the foot yeah the feet i think look okay the legs does he have a tail has, what's going has, on with his crotch has, uh, <laughs> he does have a pretty weird looking tail <laughs> and i'm not a fan of that upper leg armor for the same reason i didn't like the first laval's leg armor so for me not all, and the other head is okay looking it looks decently similar to war is the wolf from last year basically this guy has next to no recolors i actually don't think he has any recolors except for the head of course which is new and whatever trans reds on the right arm he looks boring doesn't really look too He's much like a panther blind. He's got some weird stuff going on with color layering. The only thing I would say he has going for... Oh yeah, generic weapon. The only things he has going for him are those feet, because they look better than, say, Laval's feet without those extra clip-on. Of all the wild cats they could have chosen from, they chose like the most bland, boring <laughs> cat to like make a model off of. I mean, it's just plain black. Yeah. <laughs> And they, even then, they screwed that up because it's not black. There's all kinds of colors thrown in Gun here. metal and blue <laughs> and gold and red. Um, I do like the attention. To, they I think, give him a tongue. I think Lego needs to take some art lessons. They, 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 look at they the color wheel. They give him a tongue of sorts, even though the back of the heads are hollow and there's open space. So it really just looks like he's bleeding from his mouth. It, it doesn't look like a tongue. It looks like they just colored the bottom of his mouth red. They totally did. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's similar to all um, the uh the the the, the, the uh, saber tooth tiger, but his mouth is purple, pinkish. Yeah, I, just get, I don't. I don't really think it looks terrible, but it's uh, I'm not a fan. It's just not interesting. Alda, what do you think? It's just really. Eh. <laughs> I mean, the to be honest. I like this set better than Laval for the sole reason it's far more consistent. You know, if you cut out the red and the blue, it's not it's not a bad set. It's just not System. interesting. It's just just kind of standard. It's the same thing as Cragger. It's just it's more interesting than Laval. I wouldn't go that far. I, I mean, like come on. Look, got the look at it this way. The impressive weapon. Laval's solid, but he's like the most generic set of all got, of he's these. He's got the, that upper leg printing, and he's got, you know, it may be too bright of a color scheme, but it draws your attention. As this dude is blandest of the bland, blandar. Not yeah, Pandar. but there, there are like so many different colors with Laval. The There's like bright reds, and then trans sure. orange, and then dark I just noticed his upper red uh, legs are metro red with printing on it. Yup. With no other metro red parts. And then gold, and then gray, and then this guy at least is a little bit more consistent with He's black, gray. gold, and gunmetal. He's still got that sphere in his chest. He has the blue. There's trans red on his right arm. <laughs> if they were to make the sphere blue, that might help, but I don't think they should do that. shouldn't have any would... blue. <laughs> Why is there blue? <laughs> I I don't know. I feel like the blue would work better with the panther theme. It, it than would if he wasn't. Red they one. weren't going with the stupid fire and ice. I know, but they, yeah, they had to go with the stupid fire idea. I don't know why they chose a panther to be in the fire team. That's just a stupid maybe color not, scheme. Maybe he's a mix of both, and that's why there's blue. <laughs> I don't know. He can't decide which side he's on. Maybe, maybe he's like Wheelie maybe. from uh from uh, Transformers. <laughs> Maybe the the chi when it fell down the crack it kind of split him in half too. Why stop? So wait, he's Viz, he's Vizon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he he's not sure what's going on because he's Vizon, the Panther on. Oh, <laughs> Shut up. Well, <laughs> the Pantheon. That's all for the chi ultra builds. <laughs> My thoughts are. <laughs> that I think this wave is following into a similar pattern as the first wave, where from initial pictures we got, everything looked pretty half and half. There were good sets, there were bad sets, and then there were the in-between ones where they were either boring or they tried new concepts and it was going to be uncertain whether they worked till people got them. I think the successes are the two largest sets. 
I think Cragger is okay mm-hmm. looking if it wasn't for the color scheme. I think at least the Vulture and the Mammoth were trying to be different, but I don't really think it worked out well. And then, but who, but who knows how it's going to be with proper posing and when getting the sets in hand. And Laval and Panthar are the bottom of the totem pole. <laughs> Although they're both, they're not <laughs> terrible sets. I just don't find them interesting. Laura, what do you think? They're both incredibly bland and incredibly boring and incredibly yeah, lame. And I, I wouldn't buy them. Um, Everyone else is pretty good. Uh, Krager is also pretty bland, but he's got the benefit of having a pretty cool head. Um, Even if it is reused. Yeah. Uh, Honestly, everything on the left side looks pretty good. Everything on the right side, <laughs> well, it just starts... la- the last two on the right side yeah. look pretty good. <laughs> I want to see him with proper posing. <laughs> Give me the vulture and the panther yeah. in a good pose. And they, they, they were so close. To, they could have taken make... a picture of the bags. You see the bags on the top, but they cut them off on purpose. <laughs> Curse you. Aww. Um, I'm going to just echo your two sentiments. <laughs> well, Panther gives me an idea. We should name the panda and the pandemic panda logo Panther. Panther the panda. The most confusing name I'll in the stop. world. We don't do that. Dude, <laughs> oh, Panther the Panda. I'm going to... He's going to be named Panther. No. Yes. So, I believe we've spent around 40 minutes discussing one picture. And we have, like, 15 more. Oh, Viper's avatar just changed again. They kind of creeped me out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, Shaw, those were probably the most interesting things we had to discuss. So, obviously, we won't go as in-depth the other stuff let's burn through the others yes let's so hero factory i feel we should go next well no while we're on chima i was thinking go with construction first but yeah we're let's do it theme by theme so what to talk about let's do the phoenix temple first and then the phoenix transformation this is the flagship set of the wave and i do think this one turned out well the concept here is that it's a two-in-one figure set and set one is a temple of sorts with a which one are we going oh i'm on the pictures chima 2 but it's of the chima temple too. chima 2 chima 5 yeah it has like this car being driven by someone named Strainor or something i don't really know and because like at first it was like who is he that's not a saber tooth tiger but uh, obviously, it's not with the S in the name. I don't know who that is or what tribe. Oh, no, it's not Strainor. It's Stealthor. Can you guys think of any people that maybe in the animal tribes that start with S? That could be. Well, he looks like some kind of a cat. Yeah. Siberian tiger? Maybe. Because, yeah, they have normal tigers in this set, too, that aren't saber tooth. You know, why did they give us a panther construction figure, but why, why not a tiger? Like a legit tiger. Yes. They have the tigers in the set, and they look, okay, they're orange and bright and fire. That, that would have worked out so much better. That's what I'm saying. Why would they choose uh, that cat out of any of <laughs> like, They could have chosen another. Like, ah, uh, just, ah. Uh, yeah, I think the temple looked cool if a bit bare bones. But that is, of course, because of the transformation, which lets it turn into the giant phoenix that I think looks infinitely better. It can fly around and do stuff. And it's got wings that have people in the gunner's seats firing stuff. And, you know, I think it was yeah, I like how this pretty looks. well. It's going to be like, what's the price of peace? It's, uh, I don't know how many. I don't know, I don't know how much it's gonna cost. It's gonna be expensive. I, That's how much it in the it's gonna be. Episode, but I forget how much. I think it's like a hundred thirty. I don't know. But Chima Eight also is another picture from the set. It has the accompanying car being driven by the mystery S guy. You can get a better shot of him. I don't know who he is, but the car looks okay. It's got a new claw piece on the, you know, the claws that reach down to the ground. That's new, and it appears on. Yeah, those are in the. Uh, it, those, those are in the construction. Ah, so. oh, they're the panthers' feet claws too. I forgot to mention them. I think it looks like a pretty cool vehicle, pretty small, but probably because they had to devote their 
pieces into the phoenix. Yep, looks good. Very happy. They they pulled off a very nice fire esque appearance. Yeah. And I like the transformation sequence. It, it's there's a lot to do here. Yep. So I think they pulled it off well. I like it. And then, now, and then vroom vroom. And yeah. I don't think we need to talk about the vulture. Vroom. Let's just move on. <laughs> like nothing ever happened. No. So, there's a couple of pictures in the gallery I compiled here of. The Mammoth set, it's Chima 3, Chima 9, and Chima 11, and it's just him from different angles. Because the big gimmick with this set is that it can split apart, and there's a mode where it's all folded up, and it's a giant Mammoth Walker ATAT. There's one where you can extend the turbines on the left and right to kind of fold, out, and then it splits apart into a hovercraft. Jeez, this thing is cool. It is quite cool. This actually, yeah, this is actually a really neat set. They're going all out with their larger sets this year. Yeah, I've noticed Lego, I think this is kind of a sign of the times. Lego's been releasing a lot more larger, expensive sets. Yeah. Mm. Which, you know, saddens me a little bit. But... Given something for the AFOLs, maybe. Yeah, this looks a lot more like it's for AFOLs. They're, they're really focusing on that market this year. Yeah. Of course, I don't know how many. Which is good. I'm glad they're doing that. A bunch of Chima stuff, but you know, do like what you will. Well, <laughs> I, I think Lego Jang makes up like one percent of their entire market. I'm sure. But... Ah, yeah. Uh, Jang bricks. Yeah. Uh... Jang bricks. Now, yeah, the set's cool and all. It looks very imposing, and I like that function how it splits apart into multiple different vehicles. But my eyes cannot help but be drawn to the brown Hero Factory 2.0 chest plate. On the front of the vehicle yep. by the head. So that's a neat recolor they have there. And then it's got a pretty impressive trunk. Whereas the mammoth construction figure got gypped in that regard. Yeah, the trunk <laughs> looks much better here. Um, yeah, they did a really good job with this set. The color scheme works out brilliantly. Yeah, I really like the color scheme. The brown and the trans blue looks great together. Yeah. Yeah, I'm amazed. I never would have thought that this color scheme would work out as well as it does. Yep. Then we've got some other sets. We're starting to start seeing them get smaller now. Chima 7 has Sir Fangar's Saber Tooth Walker. And it's just that. There's something which hooks onto the back where it looks gappy that they've taken off. I think it forms a separate vehicle. And it's got giant shield pieces that with walking crab-like things that I guess are supposed to come off. I don't really know what those are. The claws fold up around the shield, and I think it's meant to be detachable. But it looks fairly standard. It's got those feet that are showing up everywhere nowadays. Wait a second. What? What shield piece is that? It's the Chi brain attack shield. It's kind of like Kupaka's. Yeah, that's what I was thinking it was. Because, you know, that that system contraption, the claw thingy, it looks like that would fit beautifully onto a Kopaka Nuva shield. It also fits beautifully onto a Chi shield. Eh, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Dreams crushed. Yeah. Chi shield. What does the Chi shield look like? It looks like that. It's just bigger than wow. a Kopaka plain. Nuva shield. That, that's... It, it, it's totally plain. It's Bulk's shield, Var. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, right, right. Yeah. And then we have the Fire Tarkava. I mean, uh... Don't say that. Lol's Fire dare Lion. You, dare you. Chima 6, because that's what this reminds me of. <laughs> Almost 100%. And... Unfortunately, it's, it's difficult for me to dispute that. But it drives me bonkers because <laughs> they had planned to release a San Tarkava, which was actually similar to this because of the bright coloration. But <clears throat> dang it all. To I think do this have is the predecessor. I mean, one successor. thing to kind of dispute the shield claim. Oh, no. Uh, since I'm looking at the shield right now, I notice that the edges of the shield in the set are more, uh, uh, what, are, what would be the word, uh, flatter? Uh, you know, more edgier. Yeah. There's a definitely a clear edge on that shield. 
in the picture. Well, on the chi shield, it's very rounded off. There's no edge. So uh, that looks more like the Kopaka shield. I'm going to test this out, and then I'm going to put an annotation in the video with my findings because I own that piece, the spider web in the center, so I can replicate this and see if it fits. And I'm going to okay. correct myself via annotation if I'm wrong. But Laval's cool. Fire Lion, the recolors just keep piling on. Kitorin just back in the form of the paw no! piece. Oh, it's oh got my. two paw pieces complete with another recolor, those new claw pieces in the bright trans red. And then another recolor, the horn, <laughs> not, not the horns, the main, has one of those new HF Chima Ninjago spikes in brown. So, you know, recolors abound this wave. I can see mixel joints on the arms, probably for articulation and stuff, and it's it's a Tarakawa. And then there's the mammoth big fig in the bottom Smith. fighting Cragger. <laughs> Which looks interesting. You know. Oh my I'm, god, I'm that thing sad. is a Tarakawa. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a little bit saddened, by the way. Because I just had a terrible thought. Mm. I know what they're gonna do to the mammoths in the TV show. Oh no, what? Just based off this, in the TV show, the mammoths are gonna be like crackers. They're gonna be the big brutish. Ooh, well, what does this do? What do you mean one plus one equals yeah, two? Like the rhinos. Yeah, well, if like Chima the rhinos. If gets to only... the point where they're gonna reuse their character stereotypes, one-dimensional character traits, I, I'll, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah. It's bad enough to have one-dimensional characters at all, but for two different tribes, no. They better distinguish. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks yeah. okay. A little gappy in the center, but if it's for a, the purpose of a function, I can forgive it. What if their uh, character type is like, they're smart, but they're slow? That would be interesting. That would be good. Yeah, we haven't had that. <clears throat> and then... Chima 4, we see a lot of the mini figures. Oh, that's actually the final Chima picture we have here. And I wish it was, this was in video format, which it probably will be at a later date once this has been released. So we'll just, like, mention it on TTV or whatever rather than make a whole other video. Um, the mammoths get normal figures as well and not just big figs, and they have hilariously oversized trunks that reach almost down to the ground. Everybody's in like <laughs> red pajamas, all of the heroes, and it looks stupid because of the color scheme. Like G Gorzan looks ridiculous, Razor and Warriors look a little bit better, not by much. You can see the phoenixes back there; they have wings and tall heads, which look strange. Sabertooth tigers, normal tigers. I'm looking for a panther, but I can't see any. <laughs> so why does it exist? Nobody knows. You can see a, a lot <gasps> of the villains. It's shadow wind. A lot of the villains have light blue legs, just like the construction figures. Um, yeah, there's some weird purple thing on the left, but I can't tell what that is. Yay, weird purple. Nah, well, Mystery they, S guy, weird. also on the left. <laughs> They're good minifigures. They're just very strange. I don't understand a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah. We can leave it at that. Yes, that is that is Chima. Next up, we have Hero Factory, and I feel that because of the invasion from below game and the TV special, the stuff we're going to be able to say about these is not all that great because we've kind of already seen a lot of these sets but a couple things i just want to point out i like how stormer well okay well first of all the posing was botched horrendously on these look yeah what Ferno's. the heck is going on there look at ferno's machine he's he's <laughs> falling out <laughs> uh, i think this is how this works he's falling out of the mech <laughs> and stormer's falling down <laughs> Um, Who's posing? Yeah, Stormer's mech is like toppling over. Evo is falling out of the walker. You can see he's not seated properly. Why are, are, are these? Bulk's falling the out of his machine. Figure. Did they Did even the bother? 
<laughs> did the guy who posed all these heroes figure like they were all drunk trying to get into their <laughs> mechs or something? They're like, Whoa. I don't know. <laughs> Do they have stop signs? Viper, you're alive. <laughs> yeah, I'm alive. Okay, we're talking about here HF if you want to jump in. But uh, yep. also, if you're looking at the picture. But um, the new I'm set. On it. What? I'm, I'm looking at okay. it. Okay. The new set here, it kind of trails off into the background, but the ones first and foremost are Raka and Surge's combat machine, and it's this huge four-legged walker that has a detachable plane thing that looks like the wings are oh, yeah. the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's just me, <laughs> but isn't aren't they the wrong direction? And I, I don't know why well, Raka and need to exist in this set. It looks okay. It looks... Hey, the cockpit might be in the back. Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> it looks it looks okay. I don't know why, but ever since I first saw it, it hasn't really gripped me as, wow, this set's amazing. In the TV mm -hmm. show, it mm -hmm. just this... didn't click with me, but it looks decently I... constructed. I, I don't know. This looks kind of boring to me, but it's just me. Pretty boring. You, you know, like you get those aerials on your car. Yeah. You know, you get like those aerials on your car, like the Disney ones that like get stuck on your top of the aerial. That's what it looks like. Uh, no, no, that that's just that's that's not a part of the set. That's just something they did for posing. No, the, she's talking about the stick thing oh, that yeah. the airplane's on. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> yeah, just for like posing. The that's like the thing at the top. Yeah, that's that's not for that's not that's not in the set. Yeah, the set that, that, no, that compact sorry. down onto the walker, which will probably make it look tons better. But as it stands, I don't think either one looks too good when they're separated. <laughs> the plane mm -hmm. looks too s s small, and the walker looks too generic. But put it on top, and it may look okay. Stupid mm -hmm. orange chairs. And speaking of orange chairs, a set where it actually works, Bulk's Drill Machine. Also looks fairly standard, but it's got a neat-looking drill contraption, which hopefully, as it was in the show, can be articulated and spun around and all sorts of I like that more. I do like it more, to be honest. I'm liking yeah, all of these sets. Yeah, it's very consistent. Now, <laughs> the, the new thing the Summer Wave has introduced is they actually come with the cocoons from the show. And at first they look to be one piece, but they're probably two pieces because you see Tunneler Beast has one on his back. It's like a half. Yeah, I think they're I think they're two pieces definitely. And the heroes fit inside yeah. and then can be pulled out, like in the show. Yeah, it looks like you can split them in half. So that yeah, they're neat. And the jumpers now have blue backs for some reason. Yeah, Bulk's drill machine it looks blue. okay. Tunneler Beast. I was worried that Surge's minifigure helmet wouldn't look too good in minifigure form. And I know it's far away, but from what I can see, I was right. <laughs> it doesn't look much <laughs> like Surge at all. It looks like Raka. It's too flat and round. Not, well, not flat and round. Too flat on the front and round on the top. Where's his spikes? This definitive Surge electricity spikes. They're gone. They're gone. These are preliminaries, Meso. Calm down. Yeah, but it was the same way in the game. <laughs> the show, it looked fine, but I, I knew it was going to be that way in the game anyway. Enough complaining. Tunnel or Beast. It's $10 set. For being a $10 set, I think it looks different enough to warrant it being released. It looks pretty good for a $10 one. It's got a, yeah, yeah, for $10, I, I think you're getting, you know, you're getting something to mess around with for $10. I, I like it. it it's a better... I would say it's a better purchase than the one directly next to it. Evil's Walker. <laughs> yeah, it looks dumb. Also, I like how all of the heroes aren't seated properly in their machines, except for Rocket. Yeah, no, not a single one. <laughs> They're all. I just noticed Stormer. He's falling down, but he's looking like the, the other way. He's <laughs> like, help me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get crushed. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I find the winter sets more interesting than the summer ones because of their weird posing. Anyway, 
So Crystal Beast, you can barely make out in the background there, confirms what a lot of people had feared and or hoped for in that it's not in fact Azure, there is no Azure armor to be found in the set, it is rather trans blue, which is the color of 2014, apparently. And that yeah. would be a big deal yeah, had we that... not got Frost Beast and Stormer in Brain Attack to where it's kind of inconsequential. Yeah, you know, I, I was going to say... I was trying to say this earlier to you. We got gypped out of Azure again. Mm -hmm. I would be angry, but we kind of got it in abundance this year anyway. But I would have just been happy with two pieces of armor. You know? <laughs> yeah. It, it does it look okay. Like I, I, I personally, I do think Trans Blue works better for him than Azure if they were going for the crystal theme. And it looks like the head is Trans Blue as well, which is nice. And... You know, that horn, what, whatever it is, is there, whatever color that is. <clears throat> Looks generic, but apparently according to the show and the game, it has some kind of intricate back armor, which is where some of the piece count comes in. But I can't really see it too well. Is it just me or does Bulk have Breeze's boots in that set? The jet which one has Bulk in it? Crystal Beast. Uh, right it's the crystal the one. You look oh, like there he is. Yeah. He's like bent backwards, but he has those boots, I think. They kind of stand out, yeah. I don't know what those are. And then barely in the background, you can make out the other two sets before the Queen Beast. Breeze Flea Machine. Okay. I don't understand. Hold on. Hold on. How is that spelled? How is Flea -E spelled? F-L-E-A. Are you... You know, it, it's funny. I live in a state in the U.S. where where I am, fleas don't live. They can't live here. The the atmosphere, it, it won't allow them to survive. So I can't get this set. Huh. Despite the fact that this is looking to be one of my favorites because I want those shoulder pieces yeah, for part, possibly part, never to mock with them. Part but they're, wise, they're really it great. it looks good. Set design-wise, it also looks good. It's a walker like Evo's, but it's has three legs that are actually legs and not stubby <laughs> legs and then some gun, gun metal thing. Why? Why didn't they use the lime green seed? Why is it Yeah. Why is it orange? Why, why is it orange? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you know, it's... It looks very good, but looks can be deceiving because I thought the Evo Walker looked good and I said, wow, this is small and it's using a complex torso build, but then I get it in real life. But no, I, I didn't get it in real life, but I see it, actual real life pictures of the set, and it's hilariously unstable, and it falls everywhere and has trouble posing. So that may be the same thing with Breeze's walker, I hope not, because it looks like it could have the most potential here, honestly. Yeah. yeah. And then directly in front, there's Raka's crawler machine. Perhaps... Do we even need to talk about this? Stupid... <laughs> Okay, so this still confuses me. Which one is Evo and which one is Raka? Because they've done mixed up the uh, color I, scheme to well, heck. Raka is Raka's gold, Evo's yellow. Evo's yellow, Raka's gold. Yeah, you gold. can see okay. Evo in the background. He's the one with the multi-limbed walker. Raka is the one in like in ah okay with the no no um windshield. He's just kind of sitting there. <laughs> and he's got stubby legs and chainsaw hands in gold. And it looks really oh, bland. Perhaps one of the most bland sets I've ever seen in my life, to be completely honest. I don't think it looks <gasps> Wait. bad. Wait. It, it does. It's right up there with Solek. Okay, but better that, than Solek because of color scheme and part count and build. You know, at least it has some semblance of complexity, but it does look, it's probably the blandest HF set since the 1.0 Heroes, but it does have the cocoon, <laughs> and I guess if you want just a simple fighting thing, it has the walker, and which does, you know, it's a standalone set, and then it has the cocoon and the jumper, so for playability, it would look to be okay. As I said, it doesn't really impress me, but I'll probably get it, and I'll probably end up liking it. How much is it? $10. And that's not a bad $10 yeah, set at all. I, I do think it's better than the Walker. I just don't think it's a good set. 
but that's just for the yeah. reasons that I don't like some of the Chima sets, the blandness, not because there's anything wrong with them. Of course, you could get into the argument that Rocker really need another vehicle, but hey, that's a debate for another day. And then the final mm -hmm. HF set, which gets a separate picture, because it is the largest, the Queen Beast versus Ferno. This Evo looks good. And Storm. Yeah, this looks really cool. I like this a lot. It's four legs, got the wings, which are hilariously misposed and just flapping around all over the place. And she has a crown. So that's neat. That's a recolor. As if this year needed any more recolors, not that I'm complaining. It does end up being <laughs> Azure. It looks to have a complex build all as well with the world. Then we get to the Evo thing. And I'll be honest, it could end up being very cool. It definitely looks better than his walker. I must question why does it exist. But that's kind of what I think about a lot of sets in this wave, so I can't really be too critical of it. It looks to be interesting. It looks like a lot of the piece count was siphoned off for his vehicle <laughs> instead of the Queen Beast. But, hey, you know, so long as it's stable. I think it looks interesting. It looks good. <sighs> so yeah. that is Hero Factory Invasion from below Wave 2. We now know the complete wave for the year. What are Verdict. your thoughts? Meh. Verdict? Better than Brain Attack? Yeah, well, but still meh. For someone who hasn't really followed Hero Factory since, um, what was it, Reign of Fire or whatever? Deal of Fire, yeah. The second or Deal of Fire. Yeah. I gotta say, I... I quite like the direction they're going for with Hero they Factory. Gone, I, a lot, come quite a long way. Yeah, a lot of these sets really, really appeal to me after taking a break from I've gotten like one or two sets since Ordeal of Fire. But these are really cool. It's a nice, uh, like, fresh, or, yeah, breath of fresh air, basically. I mean, obviously, I missed Wave 1, but Wave 2 looks cool. Yeah. So, wait, really wait, like wait, Furnos, Matt. Yet, yeah, Furnos is one of the best sets in the entire <laughs> wave, if not the line. Well, no, I, I mean, I missed Wave One as far as like n talking about it goes. Oh yeah, you were never in any of our coverage videos. Yeah. It it really does so, impress yeah, me. There's cool. some design oddities here and there. There's the controversy about people, a lot of people's favorite heroes being omitted in favor of like four Evo sets and three Raka sets. <laughs> Well, let's be honest. The their color scheme is kind of the best, so I don't I don't really mind. Well, I quite enjoy the yellow and green. Anyway, <laughs> Evo's color scheme was terrible. That's the other thing. This year, Evo's had so many colors. First, he was yellow and purple. Then he was yellow and gunmetal. Then he was yellow, gunmetal, and blue. Now he's yellow, gunmetal, and green. <laughs> green was supposed to be Raka. Gotta get the entire color spectrum. I know, right? They they really undermined Raka. Raka was awesome when he had that gold and green, and now it's just like, it what the heck is going on? Raka needs to you die know, somewhere, and he, pretty soon Evo can follow suit. I feel a little bit ripped off here. I, I started out with gold and green. Wow, just wow. They're taking my colors, man. Yeah, but your gold wasn't like a cool gold. Your gold was like a boring gold. My gold was a cool gold. I, also, green should be the, uh, the uh, highlight, not the uh, main color. I do think they wave two of Invasion from below. I do think it's a success. A lot of the sets look good. But however, I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that all the hero, all the mechs besides Raka's thing are multi-limbed walkers. That doesn't really interest me all too much. Like, okay, even... it's better than the humanoid stuff because we get a ton of that already. It's good they're trying to mix things up, but something about it just doesn't click with me. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'll change my mind when I own some of the sets because I've yet to get a single wave one set because they're not out. But, hey. This also marks I don't the really have... year we're able to look at a complete year's worth of sets at once where none of them are out yet and plan your purchases accordingly. Yeah, one I guess one thing with the uh, walkers is that I don't really have the urge to 
buy them all and kind of have them stand next to each other like I did with Bionicle sets. I guess that's kind of the uh, good thing about clone sets is like it's like a collect them all feature. Yeah. Where they all go together and they all look like they belong together. A lot of these do Here, look they're kind different. Of just, yeah, they're all a bunch of random sets. Really, I mean, they're all cool for the most part. But as a collecting standpoint, they're really, really separate. And they could have been from any year in any wave. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. However, most people would consider that a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. But I do agree sure. that one of the things one of the things I did like about Brain Attack, individually some of the sets were meh when you own them all like I do, except for Jet Raka. It was actually a pretty solid year, but only thematically. Like, you stand all the sets next to each other. The theme, it kind of works. It's cohesive. It looks nice. It was the first year where I did have that collect them all vibe since Bionicle. And you can pick apart each one of the f stuff, like the brains and the visors to death. But it looks good when standing next to each other. This year, the sets are individuals, individually good. You look at this entire table with a year's worth of sets... Well, with the mechs falling over and the minifigures falling out included and there's some hits and there's some misses but I do like the direction it went in the end and now real quick before we end this coverage here is a Ninjago set <laughs> and it, Hooray. it is a temple and it's a pretty shway looking temple and you can see the overlord <laughs> Many figures. Oh my! You know. Oh my lord! This set just what an insult. <laughs> yeah, what dude. This insult. is like, I'm not Japanese. I'm offended at this. Yeah, I'm offended. <laughs> you know, I, I think let's boycott Ninjago. The Ninjago is how almost... dare they put a dragon on those window blinds? How <laughs> dare they have slanted roofs? Okay, I, I, How I gotta, dare I gotta, they have samurai helmet shogun esque buildings? I gotta comment How on what dare thing. they have straw hats on the top of their buildings in gold? Oh! 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 I, 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 I will say one thing, and it's not about the building at all. The thing which groups my attention the most out of this entire set is that tree. What is what going is, yeah, on? I know, I noticed that. I, I noticed that. I was like, "What is? Why? Why is? It's, it's is it bleeding?" Uh, hilariously, how <laughs> dare they have a fluffy, multicolored tree that's supposed to be Oriental inspired? I do not understand oh! the tree at all. It looks like it took up so much of the piece count, box. just sticking leaves under this tree. <laughs> why, I, why I don't know. So I, we, it is kind of weird. <laughs> I like. It looks I think good, it's but there's like red and it's huge. <laughs> it's got a ton of parts. Yeah, it's supposed to be the the colors of autumn when the trees turn red and orange. Yeah, and there's stuff. like there's like Perfect. fifty parts right there. <laughs> For the ten dollar <laughs> set in construction terms. Uh, yeah. There's the Overlord no. which has gold for some reason. And how much is this set? Hundred and uh, twenty, I think. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> Get that tree out of here! Yeah, they could probably cut off ten dollars if they took the tree away. <laughs> and really... that weird outpost set selling for over a hundred bucks. It's got like a how is this? It's like got a thousand popular Lego. It's got a thousand three hundred pieces. I mean, that's awesome. But how is this the most popular Lego theme? with sets that expensive. Well, you know, honestly, this is the most expensive in the summer. For Ninjago, they're only coming out with two sets. It's this, and then this like really cool car that turns into bike thing. And all the other sets are like under a hundred. I have two of them, and one of them was twelve, and the other was thirty. But I got it on sale. Yeah. And there, there's a lot there. There are a lot to these sets. There's a lot of function and a lot you can do with them. So. Lego, from what I've seen, I've looked up a lot of reviews of their Chima sets, like as well as some of the, all the Ninjago sets. And the stuff that they do with this, they're they're really good with temples, and there's a lot. So while there's also a lot of parts, there's a lot you can do with it. There's a lot of function, and there's a lot of playability to it. So there's just a lot. 
Yeah. And I bet this set Unfortunately, it's a lot of cash. Yeah. Ton of cash. But that's kind of a more of a sign of the times thing. Yeah, and I guess they're only going to release two sets. They should make them count and be big. Truth. So, hey, mm-hmm. I probably won't buy it. In fact, I, I think they could have gotten I rid of the tree actually... with minimal loss. No, you can't see the other one. I was about to say you could see the other one, but no. No pictures of that yet. We're Okay, really, here, here's the That's deal. Fine. Since we've reached the end of our coverage, uh, you know, we probably should have waited to do this until all the pictures were out. But frankly, you know, the most interesting stuff was already here. And I'll update the gallery for you guys to look at stuff when more pictures are out. But I think that the interesting stuff has been covered. And a final yeah, note and before just... we close, Ultra Agents. It's a cool car. We have two pictures yeah. of the same set. One is the car when folded up. One is the car when folded down to become a base. With yep, a Mr. Truck. Also, um, I have one thing to say. Pink hair. Oh, yeah. That is a thing, isn't it? They, they, it, it, I've got nothing. Also, are the hands an optional part of this set? The hands? I, I want hands to be groping at my toys. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a great addition. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that is all changed. <laughs> He's about to steal it and run. Like, <laughs> but the jack that truck and get out of there. Well, yeah. adios. There's going to be other sets, and, you know, we may talk about them on TTV or something. But for now, that is all for the Nuremberg Toy Fair. Now, my hope is that the New York Toy Fair will have the other sets in better photographed situations. To allow us to get better angles and be able to talk about them better. But I think mm-hmm. this was a good starting point. Yep. So I Maybe think we'll have a special guest. Huh? Never mind. Go on. <laughs> okay. So thank you all for listening. If you did to this hour plus long video, we appreciate your viewership. Leave your thoughts on the sets in the comments below. And we will see you all next time. I'm Messner. I'm Broderan. I'm LJ. I'm Viper. Who is still alive despite all of this, even though it's like 2 a.m. for her. Yeah, that's why I'm being so quiet. You should sleep, but I appreciate your dedication to the cause. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye. We probably should have introduced ourselves at the beginning of the video.